All right, in case anyone's wondering, this is how you power up a three-wire fan that runs off PWM. It's very easy. You just need a uh, generic PWM generator, signal generator from eBay, from Amazon, 10, 12, 15 bucks maybe. Um, wiring on the bottom. The only wires I'm actually using are the far left red wire. That's going to be the PWM outcoming signal. The ground wire that's next to it, I'm not really using. Don't have it grounded to anything. And then the others, the uh, positive voltage and negative voltage have hooked to the battery box. And then over here, you can see this is the pigtail coming from the fan. This is from an E70 X5 BMW. Uh, so you've got two large, large gauge wires. You've got the red positive, the brown is the ground, the negative, and then you've got this little one that's black and green. That's your PWM signal going in. You see I've got a little yellow jumper going to that, and that runs back and eventually comes out of the PWM signal generator. So I've got it all wired up right now. And you can see 100 hertz, and it's at 95%. It's not running. Everything's hooked up. So if I change that, change it to 90. There it goes. Runs great. And the percentage is inverse to the speed. So basically 90 is going to be about the slowest speed. And as I increase it, don't know if you can hear it, the fan is noticeably speeding up. 70. And if I go back up, to above 90, slows down, ninety one. So ninety five it stops. It stops at ninety or ninety one. That's it. I'll do another one of these that uh, uses a Chevy Volt fan right there, that double one. But you can see I've got a couple of these BMW fans that I've been testing because I've been having trouble with my X5. And uh, it's nice to know that you have a good working fan when you put it in so you know it's not a problem with the wiring, problem with the ECM signal or something like that. That's it.